Always great to see you, man. How Thank you been? You. I'm good. I'm 100. You 100, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm 100. <laughs> In this new book you got, man, it starts with a phrase, fathers, you all know what I'm talking about. When your daughter comes up to you and says, Daddy, I need to tell you something. You shared the moment when your youngest daughter, Sarah, came to you and told you she was pregnant. Well, you know, I started out with that story at the front of the book because if you're gonna talk to other people about the crushings in their lives, you have to be willing to put yours up front too. Mm. Yeah. My daughter came to me, she was 13 years old when she told me she was pregnant. And I thought I would just, just it was just too much. My church was going up, my mother was going down, I'd survived all of that, and then ran into this with my daughter. And the reason I use her in the illustration, I never talked about it until she did. That same daughter at the lowest moment that looked like her whole life had been shattered by the circumstances she was in, made a complete turnaround. She's now pastoring, she's speaking all over the world, she's writing books. <laughs> to be honest, people are not calling me anymore, they're calling her. <laughs> and what I'm really trying to say in the book, it, it doesn't matter where you start, it matters where you finish. Yeah. You know, that most people who, who I have met in life who did exceptional things, it was always a comeback from exceptional crushings. Yeah. And so the metaphor is about grapes being crushed to make wine. Grapes are the only fruit that's raised to be crushed, not to be protected. Because in the process <laughs> of crushing the grape, it finally comes to its ultimate purpose, becoming wine, and lasts 10, 20, hundreds of years. Yeah. If it had not been crushed, it would not have survived. And so wow. I'm talking to people about crushings and the crushings in your life and the things that drive you to be successful, that make you work harder, that make you study harder, that make you do more than other people do, are often rooted in what you are running from, not what you are running to. What makes a person get bitter? about mishaps? What stops them from letting go and moving on? If you can give up the story you told yourself, you can reframe everything about your life. But it is the way we process what we've been through. And we, we use it as a death sentence. In the book, I talk about the difference between being buried and being planted. To the observer, <laughs> it looks like the same thing. But the dead are buried, the seeds are planted. Mm. And you can either say, this is going to bury me or something is going to come out of this that's going to resurrect me better than I was before. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I've seen the sides of you, the, the filmmaker, mm -hmm. the author, the man that's able to reach you wherever you at. I hate to shock you with this, but I wasn't born Bishop Jakes. <laughs> 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 it's, it's not like my mama had me, she birthed me, and I came out with a collar around my neck and a cross in my yeah. body. So, so I'm a real person. And then I'm not just Bishop Jakes. Yeah. Because people will define you by how they met you. And when they do that, they also limit you. They put a period where God put a comma. Mm. And so when you really want to get to the core of who you are, many times it is the pressure that pushes out of you what you really are what you really got, what you really made out of. There are people listening at us right now who have withstood things that they thought they couldn't stand. Yeah. And they say they're survivors, but you didn't withstand all that just to survive. You withstood that to succeed. Yeah, come on, man. You understand what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, for real. Yeah, so... <laughs> yeah. What, what I wrote the book for, I wrote the book to get you off of the gurney and out of the emergency room and understand <laughs> that whenever the archer pulls back the bow, the further back it's pulled, the further the arrow will shoot. Yeah. And so if somebody's listening who's been pulled back, who's been crushed, who's been through adversity, who's been through trauma, who's cried themselves to sleep at night, you saw how far you went back, wait till you see how far you go forward. Wow. One of the things uh, that I came to say to you that I think is really important, I came to say thank you because you have always used your platform to help other people. <laughs> Not just big name people. You brought people on camera who would have never gotten on camera had they not come through you. Mm. 
You used your platform to touch people that were marginalized, disenfranchised, rejected, and ostracized. You have nothing to be ashamed of. <laughs> nothing to be ashamed of. You have everything to be proud of. Because anytime we recognize that whatever we have been given is a gift for, for other people and that it is a platform through which good can be done, we can never be ashamed about doing right. You never go wrong doing right. Mm. You used your platform for good stuff. Mm. Okay? Yeah. Platforms come and platforms go, like seasons, they change, they're supposed to. As long as you preserve your purpose, mm. your seasons can change all they want to. Mm. But they never change who you are. You know, some lady up there asked me, said, what you gonna do? I don't really know what I'm gonna do. I expect, though, mm -hmm. that, it, that God got something really great in store for me. So, you know, when, when doors... Let, 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 let me jump in there. Come on. You're not supposed to know. Mm. You're not supposed <laughs> to know. The, life is a mystery. If you take away the mystery and everything was certain, you wouldn't need faith. Mm. Faith functions best when you don't know. Mm. So God often puts us in positions where we don't know to destabilize us from think, relying too much on what we know. Yeah. Like a trainer who starts you out and he starts you out on a weight machine, okay? And then he puts you on a bench and he gives you free weights because now it's less stable. The, the less stable it is, the more muscles you build. Mm -hmm. Finally, he puts you on a ball where everything's unstable. And when he puts you on the ball, he's building up your core. Mm. So the more unstable your life becomes, the more you have to go inside yourself to stabilize yourself. Mm. You're strong enough to withstand instability. Yeah. And if you knew everything, you'd have no room for faith, for discovery, mm. for innovation, because creativity comes in uncertainty. Yeah. It comes in uncertainty, in the middle of chaos, because after a while, anytime you know too much, you stop living your best self. Mm. You, 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 can yeah. anybody relate to that? You would never discover what else you were if you stayed in one place. Mm. Okay, this is my copy right here. Okay, this is the study guide. This yeah. is the, where you gotta fill in. You gotta fill in stuff because I don't have the answers. The answer is inside of you. See, man, you talking directly to me because, you know, I think this is the best way I've explained how I feel. You know, I'm okay with where I'm at. Mm -hmm. I just never had it explained to me that way. Mm -hmm. You know, the crushing is necessary. It's absolutely necessary, and that's why I wrote the book. Because people only see the good part of you. It's like Instagram and Twitter. You never post a bad picture. <laughs> you know, you pass up all them other pictures, you get that one <laughs> picture that's got the right angle and the right light, and you put that picture up yeah. there, and then put a filter on that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Put a filter on that, lighten it up, change it a little bit, do all that kind of stuff. So we have started to believe the illusion <laughs> that people who look good on camera and people who do amazing things only had amazing moments. And that's why we have so many haters. Because haters feel like it's not fair for you to have all the good times while I go through all the bad times. But the reality is we go through bad times too. Come on, We man. go through heartache too. Right. We go through disappointment. We feel bad. We get depressed. We want to give up. We want to walk away. But there's something down inside of you that keeps pushing you. I feel like I'm in church for a minute. You better set me down. <laughs> You better set me down because I'll set it off in here. Yeah. I'll set it off in here. Set right it now. off in here. I'll man. set it off right now. My man, I love you, bro. Love you, brother. This dude right here. Hey, listen, everybody. This is the book. This is the study guide. This is the information. You fill in the answers. Find out what your crushing has meant to you. And everybody in the audience, you're going home with a copy of his book. You get a copy, you get a copy, you get a copy. <laughs> yeah. I always wanted to do that. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you made it to the end of this video. I got a lot more that you're gonna enjoy, so just click to watch the next one. 
And make sure you subscribe to always know what's happening.